Fifth problem. Draw an equilateral triangle whose sides are 5.2 cm each. Okay. So, equilateral triangle means all the sides are equal. So, before any construction, we have to draw a rough diagram. Okay. So, this is A, B, C. All the sides are equal in equilateral triangle. So, this is the rough sketch or rough diagram. Okay. Now, we have to construct it. So, take 5.2 centimeters. Draw a line segment of 5.2 centimeters. Now, again 5.2. All the three sides are equal. Na? So, again take the same radius like this with the compass. Okay. So, if we give the name, it is A, B. Now, from A as center, draw an arc. Similarly, from B also with the same radius. So, these two arcs meet at one particular point. That is the third vertex C. Now, just join B, C and A, C. That's it. So, this is the required equilateral triangle. 5.2 centimeters. Okay. So, now we have to write the steps of construction. We will see. So, first draw a line segment AB 5.2 centimeters. With A as center and with 5.2 centimeter radius, an arc is drawn. And with same radius from B, another arc is also drawn. So, the intersecting point of these two arcs is the third vertex C. By joining AC and BC, required triangle ABC is formed. So, this is the general construction of triangle. But here in this chapter, by using Euclid third axiom, we can draw the triangle in another way. Okay. Here, we draw the arcs now. So, instead of drawing the arcs, we will draw the circles. Okay. Let us see that. So, for that, just the AB 5.2 centimeters, a line segment is drawn. So, draw this in the middle of the page because we have to draw the circles, right? So, just now with this 5.2 radius, okay? Now, taking A as center, draw a circle like this, okay? Now, similarly, by taking B as center with 5.2 same radius draw another circle okay this like this okay now you observe these two circles meet at one particular point right so here also but we will take one only so this is the third vertex C now, by joining AC and BC, the required equilateral triangle will be formed. Okay. So, steps of construction, same like this only. So, proof. Now, in the proof itself, steps of construction also will come. See, from Euclid's third postulate, we can draw a circle with any center and any radius. Okay. So, we can draw a circle. So, we took A. So, a circle is drawn with A as center. Okay. So, we draw a circle with this A as center and AB as radius. This circle is drawn. And next, another circle is drawn with B as center and AB as radius. Okay. Now, you see AB is equal to AC. This AB is equal to AC because this is center and this is the distance to the circle surface, right? Because the, these both are radius, radii. Okay. So, AB is equal to AI. Similarly, AB is equal to BC. These 
from here we draw the circle so these two are radii radii of the circle so that implies this ac also is equal to bc and equals to ab that means all the three sides of a triangle are equal so triangle abc is an equilateral triangle okay so construct an equilateral triangle means here uh, you can construct in this way or in this way especially in this chapter by using euclid axiom if we construct it is good so it's better to do this process okay